Hi guys and welcome back! Today we are going to have a look at some more police motorcycle training, specifically at how they are doing U-turns. We are going to watch it from different angles, compare it to how we do U-turns normally and find one key secret, which explains how these guys are able to make their U-turns so quick and compact. This, by the way, is one of 40 exercises from my new 2-month advanced riding course, which you can look up by clicking a link in the description. It's a pretty useful exercise not only because it allows you to U-turn like a boss, but it also forces you to work the throttle, steering, clutch and rear brake in sync. Awesome training for coordination between all primary controls, which is useful in all sorts of situations. Ok, let's see the demonstration first. I'm going to shut up now. Try to listen to the engine sound. It will be important later. As you can see, these are very fast and tight turns. Looks very nice. Now let's compare them to normal U-turns, crack this exercise open and replicate it ourselves. I'll show everything slowly, so we can see what happens step by step. Here is our normal U-turn. If you watch this channel regularly, you know the drill. We turn the handlebars and our head as much as we can, give our bike a little throttle and keep our right foot on the brake, ready to apply it if necessary. Then we remove our left foot from the ground and as our bike starts to lean, we catch it with our clutch. Here how it looks from the clutch camera. Notice how I release the clutch to catch the bike from falling over. To make the same U-turn to right hand, we do absolutely the same procedure, except now we have to push with our left foot first, since our bike initially leans left. Then we again just catch the bike with the clutch like normally. To get the smallest turning radius, the whole time we keep the handlebars at full lock position and maintain the speed and lean angle by carefully balancing our throttle, clutch and rear brake. If you don't know how to do it, watch this video. It explains everything in great detail. Now let's make this U-turn the samurai way. The main key difference here is how we initiate the lean angle. In normal U-turn we just sort of waited the bike to lean and caught it with the clutch. Now we force it to lean really fast by applying counter steering. Here, as you can see, I start the U-turn with my handlebars facing the wrong way all the way. That's really more for demonstration purpose, you don't have to do it like this, you can definitely apply less counter steering. But when practicing it can be nice to do it just to feel how fast your bike can lean and how fast your handlebars snap themselves back into the turn. This is a crucial thing, by the way. We don't really have to force the handlebars back into the turn, they do it by themselves. And by ridiculously turning the front wheel the wrong way initially, you will be able to feel it. They just snap themselves as soon as you start to release the clutch. Check this out! And once you feel your handlebars turn inside, keep them in full lock position. And from this point, just do the same as you did before. Balance the bike with throttle, clutch and brake. Take a look at the handlebars, how they behave. Keep in mind that I don't really apply any big force on them. They do like 90% of the work themselves. As I already said, you don't really have to turn the handlebars all the way initially. Normally this maneuver looks more like this. Even rather small counter steering can tip your bike pretty fast. And it works both ways. You can easily do the left hand turn and right hand turn the same way. There is no difference between them. 
As you can see this way, we have really quick and still compact U-turn. This U-turn is a little faster than usual one, not that it really matters in normal riding, but as I said in the beginning, it's a good training for coordinating your throttle, rear brake, handlebars and clutch. Plus, as we are training, we are over-exaggerating everything. Here we start with handlebars fully turned the wrong way, but normally we don't have to do it. Starting with just a little counter steering is enough to tip our bike rather fast. And one more thing worth mentioning is that on some bikes, as we are starting this type of U-turn, we can accelerate rather fast and release the clutch completely almost right away. This is ok in most cases if we gain some speed right away and lean the bike a lot. This is nice if we are doing Moto Gymkhana style of riding, maybe using a U-turn as a first element of the course. But if you don't want to lean the bike a lot, or just can't lean because of low ground clearance, or even if you just start learning this exercise and want to go slower at first, go in the friction zone, because otherwise you can stall the engine and drop your motorcycle. This exercise is a little bit more advanced than normal U-turn. It's not very difficult, really. If you just follow all the steps, I'm sure you'll do fine. But it's better to not hurry and take your time if you don't want to drop your bike. That's it. Check out my courses, learn to ride well, ride safe and have a wonderful day. Bye.